Greetings, eco-conscious viewers, and welcome to Golden Age Technology. Today, we will be discussing Brown's gas, or oxyhydrogen, HHO gas. This gas is special, as it is produced entirely from water. Jules Verne, the legendary French science fiction writer, was certainly ahead of his time. In his 1874 novel, The Mysterious Island, one of the characters said to another, I believe that water will one day be employed as a fuel, that hydrogen and oxygen will constitute it, you singly or together will furnish an inexhaustible source of heat and light of an intensity of which coal is not capable. Almost 100 years later, in 1974, Bulgarian-born scientist Professor Yul Brown filed for a patent on his design of the Brown's gas electrolyzer. This device safely and economically separates hydrogen from water through a process of electrolysis. The result is a stable combustible gas created simply from water and that only releases water as a byproduct of burning. Today, Brown's gas technology is being developed and manufactured throughout the world for use in commercial heating, as a fuel source for industrial equipment and even is being used as a performance booster for internal combustion engines. The future of Brown's gas looks encouraging and may well someday gain mainstream popularity as the preferred green, sustainable and highly effective source of energy that happens to come directly from water. <music> Professor Yul Brown was born in 1922 in Bulgaria. In 1958, he moved to Australia to work as a laboratory technician. He held the firm belief that an abundant clean energy can be created from water. In the 1970s, he discovered a method of water electrolysis that creates a safely burnable mixture of hydrogen and oxygen. The result was Brown's gas, and Professor Brown dedicated the last 30 years of his life developing the gas commercially. In 1991, while he was working in Australia, Professor Brown was visited by Mr. Sang Nam Kim, chairperson of a Korean company called Best Korea. Mr. Kim had learned of Professor Brown's work with HHO gas and was excited about its possibilities and potential for use in commercial settings. Mr. Kim and Professor Brown soon developed a business agreement for the production of Brown's gas technology. Brown's gas is created through a process of electrolysis of water. Here is a quick description of the process by Mr. Kim. The specific way electrolysis separates water into oxygen and hydrogen gas is via an electric current and two electrode plates that are placed in the water. Hydrogen appears at the negatively charged plate and oxygen appears at the positively charged plate. The more electricity passed through the water, the more hydrogen and oxygen are collected. The created mixture is also known as oxyhydrogen or HHO. There are also some remarkable attributes for this innovative gas. 
For example, it can be created on site and on demand. This is important because one of the main issues with pure hydrogen becoming a viable alternative to fossil fuels in the realm of transportation has been finding a safe method of storage. A large amount of hydrogen, whether in a liquid or compressed form, is needed to power a car for it to travel a reasonable distance. And this requires safeguards as hydrogen is highly explosive. Brown's gas, however, can be safely self-generated on board the vehicle and does not have this danger. Brown's gas has been successfully applied in the context of industrial welding and cutting equipment. Not only is it economical, but safe to use in the workplace as it produces only water as a byproduct. It is also extremely efficient. A unique point to note is that Brown's gas does not have a set burning temperature. When it burns, it reacts to the material that it is in contact with. In the air, it can burn at around 230 degrees Celsius. Yet, when it is in contact with a strong metal, it can cut through it at a temperature of over 6,000 degrees Celsius. It is for this reason that it is known as the intelligent gas. It can burn through metals and brick with great efficiency. Since 1995, Best Korea has been producing innovative Brown's gas powered equipment for the industrial market and features such products as gas generators that can be used in cutting and welding operations for steel plate cutting in steel mills and even in the world of jewelry production. The company also designs and constructs Brown's gas plants for clients. This is for those companies requiring industrial boilers or heaters. 물을 수소와 산소로 분류하기 위한 가장 경제적인 방법이고 쉬운 방법이기 때문에 물을 전기 분해하면서 야 브랑가스를 생산해야 돼요. 그 장치가 브랑가스 프렌트거든요. 어라이는 있을 때면 이제 한쪽에 이제 브랑가스 프렌트가 있고 또 한쪽에는 연소 장치가 있어요. 연소 장치는 뭔가 아니 브랑가스만의 발열 기술에 의해서 브랑가스를 발열시키는 장치입니다. 그거는 이제 보일러가 될 수도 있고 어 용융 소각로가 될 수도 있고 a real world example would be a 99 room hotel which would normally require two conventional boilers. The annual operating cost for the natural gas used to power them would be about 35,000 US dollars with 85 tons of carbon emissions as a byproduct of running the system. With one brown gas generator and Brown's gas boiler, there would be no gas to pay for, though the hotel would have a slightly higher water and electricity bill. Most importantly, there would be no greenhouse gas emissions as a result of the use of Brown's gas. In 2008, Mr. Kim met with Mr. Andrew Corker, Chief Executive Officer of the UK company BG Aquapower. Best Korea signed an agreement for BG Aquapower for the latter to be the exclusive distributor of Brown's gas generators throughout the European Union. Thus, BG Aquapower now imports generators specifically for their European Union customers that are highly effective, safe and create zero emissions. When we return, we'll learn more of the important benefits of Brown's gas Please stay tuned to Golden Age Technology here on Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to Golden Age Technology.
Oxyhydrogen, also known as Brown's gas or HHO, is created from the electrolysis of water into hydrogen and oxygen. The result is an abundant and clean gas which produces water as its only byproduct when used as a fuel. It has already been utilized for industrial cutting and welding applications. Hydrogen Technology Application Incorporated, a US based company, markets the H20 1500 Aquagen gas generator to produce Aquagen gas and oxyhydrogen gas. The company says that the gas can be used with standard and modified industrial equipment as a solution for most brazing, soldering, and cutting applications. The unit weighs just over 70 kilograms and measures 40 centimeters by 60 centimeters by 66 centimeters. It is powered by a 220 volt current. The machine can provide gas for eight hours by consuming about just three liters of water. Hydrogen technology applications say one generator can power one standard brazing soldering station or multiple jeweler torches. To top it all off, there are no greenhouse gas emissions. This is unlike equipment typically powered by acetylene, which has coal as its base ingredient and does produce harmful emissions. 21st-century water energy era, so the water energy era is closed. The first condition is the three conditions. First, the first is non-renewable. Second, it cannot be non-renewable. Third, it has to be self-sufficient. The third condition is that it has to be complete. 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 Brown's gas is also safe for use in the workplace. It is clean and releases only water, which is a tremendous health benefit to workers, who often suffer from headaches and other health issues from the toxic byproducts emitted from alternative gases, such as acetylene and propane. It also burns more quietly than traditional gases providing more comfort to the workers who operate the equipment for many hours a day. Another benefit of Brown's gas, which is made on demand, is that there is no need for storage. Gas storage can be expensive and also runs the additional risk of an explosion in the workplace. It is therefore highly economical, even providing cost savings of up to 70% when compared to traditional gases. The environmental benefits of HHO gas can also be seen in other areas. Companies are developing the technology for use in the automotive world, allowing vehicles to leave a smaller carbon footprint and lessening the demand for fossil fuels. HHO fuel kits are widely available for do-it-yourself car installation. The most popular HHO fuel system is known as a mileage booster which is designed to increase fuel economy rather than act as a supplementary fuel source such as with a hybrid car. What Professor Brown discovered in his research was that when mixed with diesel or gasoline, HHO can greatly increase the burning efficiency of the mixture. One Canadian company called High Power Fuel has developed a product to help the trucking industry get better fuel economy from its vehicles. The Hydro Power Pack is an onboard system which releases oxygen and hydrogen from water through electrolysis and then inserts the oxyhydrogen gas into any internal combustion engine running on any fuel. The device is powered by the truck's own battery. According to High Power Fuel, the system can give an 8 to 20% fuel saving to the truck and also reduces greenhouse gas emissions. With the hydro power pack, approximately 4 litres of water can last for 8,000 kilometres. The US-based auto manufacturer, Ron Motor Company, has just introduced the exotic Scorpion model sports car, which operates with the help of hydrogen fuel injection technology, capable of reaching speeds of 200 miles per hour, with emissions reduced by 75 to 90%. The high-performance vehicle 
was recently presented at the California State Capitol building for a press conference and was offered to Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger for a test drive, which the eco car enthusiast gladly accepted. The Scorpion creates oxyhydrogen while driving via electrolysis of water, with the gas injected into the intake air fuel mixture to give the engine the ability to run on less gasoline. 제 에너지의 중요성은 아무리 강조해도 뭐 끝이 없습니다. 물을 에너지화해서 대체 에너지를 쓴다는 것은 엄청난 기술이며 전 세계가 쓰고도 남는 대체 에너지입니다. 그래서 환경 문제와 에너지 문제를 동시에 해결할 수 있는 것은 불안 가스밖에 없습니다. We look forward to news of new and exciting developments in the evolution of Brown's gas technology for use with cars and trucks as the global search for sustainable fuel alternatives for transport continues. Indeed, HHO, or Brown's gas, is an intriguing energy source for the golden age. Not only does it have great potential for commercial and industrial equipment, and as an alternative fuel source in all forms of transportation, but it may expand its reach in the future. Perhaps one day soon, Brown's gas generators will even be heating our homes. Thank you for watching today.